Hey my village, it's your coach Mo. Welcome, say hi, share. We are live and in effect tonight. I um, hope you guys had a good day. I know I did. I've been up since like four or something. You guys know I'm a really, really early bird. Um, let me just share the video to my page and then my group and we will get started. <clears throat> I know it's later than usual. I have my coaching session with my coach on Thursday, so I had to do it a little later since I know my normal days is not Thursday. But um, thank you for joining. I see you guys coming in. I know it's a slight delay, so I don't see you guys right away until now, but thank you for tuning in. Um, I am Coach Mo. My name is Monique, but I go by Coach Mo. Um, I am a parenting and business coach. So what I do is I help parents co-parent with success to be able to coexist in their child's life, as well as I work with female entrepreneurs, helping them identify who their ideal client is to be able to create products, content, and services to gain income in their business. Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys are all new faces. I haven't seen you guys on my live before, but thanks for tuning in. <clears throat> I welcome everybody. Um, so tonight's topic, it's mainly for women because I don't know any men that will admit to having a silent cry, but <laughs> it's mainly for um, my females, my moms. You don't even have to be a mom to have a silent cry because a lot of us hold a lot in. Um, so it can be anyone. So I'm definitely um, speaking to mainly women tonight, but men, you can listen because you might have that partner that has had that silent cry and you don't know about because they're doing it behind your back while you're asleep um, because it's something that we do in secrecy. So definitely um, share this out to your audience. If you have female um, friends, followers, we all do. But um, thank you guys for tuning in. Now that it's all shared out, <clears throat> I am going to get, start, um, get started. So some may ask, what is a silent cry? So pretty much to sum it up, a silent cry is a breakdown. So it's usually when you've reached your max, you're overwhelmed, you're at your quitting point, and you just have to cry. You can't even hold it in anymore. That's the point you're at um, when you have a silent cry. It's not so silent, but it's called a silent cry. <laughs> So um, it's when you get to that breaking point and you can't hold it in anymore and you just cry. You have to let it out. <clears throat> Letting it out is the only option at that point. So how does it look? How does a silent cry look or show up in your life? Pretty much it's you hiding in the car. When you pull up to the house, you're like, I don't even want to go in the house. I'm going to sit in the car. Or you're just out driving. You're listening to music, a certain song trigger, some memories, and you just start crying um where you can't hold it in anymore you get a message from god through music or uh you could be listening to a video anything you are hiding in the closet that's what it looked like and you're just crying in the closet where no one can see you especially if you're a mom or a single mom i know we go through this a lot where we don't want our kids to see us vulnerable or weak or a partner um sometimes you'll be in the bathroom sitting on the toilet you just start crying like oh my gosh i can't do this anymore and you're just so overwhelmed. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Sometimes you just cry in the shower. You just, anywhere you are, you just have to let it out because holding it in is no option anymore because you held in to your max capacity of stuff that you're just not handling and not dealing with and just pushing to the back, pushing to the back, showing that strong face, always showing up like with that mask on with your representative that you're okay, even though you're really not inside. So that silent cry is when you reach that maximum point where you can't hold it in anymore. So how does this happen? Um, it happens when you're afraid to ask for help, which is a lot of our problem. <laughs> and I say our because sometimes me included, I don't know when to ask for help or even how to ask for help. Even though I know like I can't do it by myself anymore, I don't even know how to reach out and ask for that help sometimes. Or sometimes you feel embarrassed, like you don't have it together and you don't want to reach out for help. But it's something that we've been taught, like it's a generational curse. Sometimes we're taught that um, at a young age to just be strong. You can push through, you can do it. 
but that's not fixing the problem. Also, lack of self-care is how you get to that point of a silent cry where you just, you're not taking care of yourself. So you're sleep deprived, you're tired, you're um, being everything for everybody, but not, not for yourself. So that's another thing. You try to do everything for everybody, but you're lacking that self-care. You're lacking doing for you. You're lacking, um, sorry, you guys. You're lacking just that self-care all as a whole. You've reached your breaking point. You're holding in too much. You need to talk to someone. You need support, but you're not asking for it. Once again, you don't ask for support. And then you get frustrated with like, I'm doing everything on my own. I see a lot of women do this. This is common in my clients. I'm doing everything by myself, but people offer to help. You just don't let them. So I get that a lot where they're like, oh, well, I asked. She said she was okay. This happened way too often because we want to do it all. We want to feel like, oh, if we let someone else do it, it's not going to be done right. Um, a lot of us have that issue where that's what we do. We're like, oh, no, if I, I have to do it because it's not going to be done right if I let someone else do it. And it's that controlling type of mentality where they have to control everything. Um, you don't have to be in control all the time. That eventually is going to break you. And that's why I want to let you guys know. So it feels good after you cry, but that little good cry is only temporary feel good moment. You're still doing the same thing, so the same reaction is going to happen. You might not have that silent cry too often, because sometimes it happens maybe once a year, twice a year, but you're still not dealing with the bottom line, the bottom issue that's causing you to feel like you can't reach out, you can't ask for help, you can't um, accept help. You have to fix the problem. And we need to be comfortable asking for help. Because it's not a good feeling when you have to get to the point where you're just crying. Sometimes you'll cry for a long time. <laughs> it depends on how much you're holding in. So you definitely have to dig deep and see why do I feel like I have to be everything for everybody? Why do I not put myself as a priority? Why do I um, not speak up? Um, also, you can only hold it together for so long. I always tell my clients this. You can only be strong for so long. You can only mask the real you and your real feelings for so long. People can't be fake forever. I don't know how how long they can be fake, but it's not going to last forever. Eventually, that's why I tell you when you're dating people, like give it three to six months, they'll show who they truly are because their representative is there at first. But once they get comfortable, that representative is out the building. And some people give advice. Don't show them who your true self until this time. No, don't do that. Be authentic. Be the true you up front and let people know I'm not okay. Like that song, um, I think it's her, where it's like, I'm not okay. That is deep. Um, also, this is something that's instilled in us at a young age especially i know i can relate uh black families they always say what happens in this house stays in this house but who's gonna fix it because <laughs> it's gonna show up outside the house with the silent cry it's gonna show up one way or another somewhere so speak up don't go by that oh i don't want to talk to someone else about what's going on in my household or that i can't keep it together or um anything like that you need to speak up and reach out because eventually what goes on in the household is going to come out. Like they say, what's done in the dark <laughs> come to light. That is a true statement. Um, so I did want to educate you guys on that. It's okay to cry, but you need to dig deep as to why that's coming out. Um, not saying that, oh, crying is not bad. It's a good relief. It feels good at the time, but if you never fix the problem... Then it's going to continue. That's it. It's going to continue. So I know some of you guys are aware that next month I won't be doing any programs. So this month is the last month to work with me for business coaching until September. And also the Super Women's Syndrome program. Because this is a form of Super Women's Syndrome. When you hold stuff in, being everything for everybody. 
that is a superwoman syndrome. I am offering that program until the end of this month for you to be able to sign up. Um, next month, I won't be doing much coaching for the simple fact I will be in Atlanta filming for a TV show. So I one week, I won't be coaching at all. That's the week that I leave. The week of the 10th, I believe. Yeah, I think it's the 10th. The 10th through the 16th. Um, I will be in Atlanta. Um, the first week of June, I'll be in California. And the last week of June, I'll be in California for all the graduations. So definitely book your free 15 minute session that's offered up until tomorrow. So you can get 15 minutes of free coaching with me. All you have to do is book it. Um, I have the link in my um, description, but you will need to send me the questions ahead of time so that we can make this 15 minutes effective. Um, also, if you're interested in the Superwomen Syndrome program, if you sign up by the 31st, it is $9.97. The original price is $12.97. This is the last time that I am running this program this year. I only do certain programs at certain times of the year because of summer, I like to focus on parenting. Um, getting our kids together before they go back to school, helping the parents, co-parenting. Um, September, August, those are parenting months. Then I'll get back into, well, actually September, um, July, August are parenting months. And then September, I go back to business coaching. Once kids are back in school, people focus on getting that money. So definitely reach out to me. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Send it to me. I don't know what you need help with if you don't speak up. So speak up, speak out. I always say that. <laughs> I think that was our theme last month. Speaking up and speaking out. Don't hold stuff in. It will never get fixed holding it to yourself but that's coach mo i'm out um time to go have dinner with my kid and his dad but i'll talk to you guys later and i'll be doing some more lives next week um probably this weekend it's memorial weekend so i don't know how much i'm gonna be doing this weekend but i might go live tomorrow but thank you guys for tuning in don't forget to like and share and i hope you enjoy the rest of your night bye